Hi guys, it's Tristan from World English School and today we are going to make a David from No David out of Play-Doh. As you can see, I have little containers of Play-Doh here. These are the mini mini containers. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to have the, the bigger ones, but these ones are nice too because you can get, uh, you can put more of them in a drawer. So um, yeah, you guys know No David, right? And uh, this is David a character by author and illustrator David Shannon. And I thought maybe what we could do first is just find a good image of David to do. Um, there's a lot of pictures of him, obviously, in this book. Um, but let's see if we can find a good picture of David. Maybe one that's kind of simple. I don't want to do that one. One that's kind of simple. Um, <laughs> what about... How about this one? I kind of like this one. What do you think? Can we do a version of David here that's dirty? Let me get this uh, this Play-Doh mat here. And we'll put that right there. And so I think we're going to try this. So we're going to need blue. And it looks like he's got red pants. This is a red. This is a pink color. Let's see. Do I have a red? Maybe I'm going to use a purple, which I have here. Yeah. I'm gonna use a purple for his pants, even though it's kind of a dark pink. Um, I'll use a purple. And then for his face, he's kind of got a yellowish color or an orange or a peach color. I'll use yellow. And then um, brown we don't have, but we can use, I've already used purple, haven't I? What can I use for the mud? Maybe blue? Well, I've got blue for his shirt. What should I use? And then of course we have white. Um, why don't we figure out the mud later? Because we got the mud on his face. Let's do that later. Um, and also I've got these tools here and these ones are to help me to carve or to craft the Play-Doh, as you can see. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start with, uh, let's see his pants. I've never done this before, so I don't know how it's going to turn out, but this should be fun. And I hope this Play-Doh is still good. It's been a long time. Yeah, it's still good. Play-Doh stays good for a long time. I love this stuff. And uh, let's get out some purple here. And I'm going to start with his pants. So let's see if I can just make two. And I'm going to, am I going to try to make this in three dimensions? Like, I don't want to make it flat. I'm going to make it, um, I'm going to make it, um, so that it's kind of like round, you know? Okay, so here's a leg, and then here's another leg. And then after that, we're gonna make his pants. So there's two legs. Cut that off a little bit there. Gonna get the basic shape first. And then I'm gonna make his pants. So here's his pants, kind of shape it like that. And then put his two legs on there. Look, it's already starting to look like David. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> That's funny. All right, and then I think I'm gonna do two separate pieces for his shoes. Let's do the same color for his shoes. And I'm gonna do that and that. There, look at that. That's pretty good. You know what, Mickey Mouse is kind of bothering me because, you know, I can, there's too many patterns. So I'm gonna put it on the back of Mickey Mouse. How's that better? All right, so now we've got David's two legs with the pants and the shoes. Great. Okay, now we're gonna go for white. One of the problems I have with Play-Doh is mixing the, mixing it up. Like when I'm working with uh, colors, I don't want to mix it up. So that's that's something I'm challenged by sometimes. So here's white. And I'm going to do two or three strips of white. So maybe that's enough. And I'm going to do a little bit at the top. This is going to be his shirt, right? And then I'm going to do another stripe here. And I have to also figure out how to get it the right size because... This is a little, I'm doing mine, well, it's almost the same height, isn't it? Yeah, they're about the same height. Okay, and here's a third stripe here. Maybe a little more I'll need there. But anyway, that's a good start. All right, great. I think that's okay. And then I got a little extra here if I need it. His, his um, the other color in his shirt is a blue. So let's do a blue. This one's pretty dry, so let's try the other blue. Get all these Play-Dohs. I haven't played with it for a while. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> this one is, look at this. This is what happens when you leave Play-Doh for a long time. It gets really hard, so I think that's gonna be garbage. So we'll just we'll just use that blue, or I have one more here. Got a lot of Play-Doh. Let's try this one. 
This is another blue. Oh, here we go. This is nice and nice and fresh. All right, let's put this blue here. And this is for his shirt again. So we're just going to try to add this in between like that. You know, this isn't bad. This isn't really bad at all. I'm kind of impressed with um, the, the Play-Doh kind of does the work. So I don't have to do much. I just put the colors on. Um, and then let's do his sleeves. And I think I'll just do... I'll do a little bit of blue and a little bit of white, just like in the picture, because it looks like there's some, there's some blue and some white on the sleeve. So let's do both. Do blue here, do a little bit of white here. And I'm trying not to stick it together too much. I thought maybe I could pick this up, but I'm not so sure I'll be able to do that. And you know, his arm here is kind of just sticking out. So why don't we, do that, that's fine. We'll do it just like the picture. Okay, I'm gonna put away this one. And then I'm going to get out the um, color of his skin, which is kind of a, gosh, I guess an orange. Is that right? Let's see if that works. Yeah, you know what, that's good. And this is a new one, isn't it? Look at that, wow, that's nice. All right, let's do his face, nice round head. <laughs> I bet David Shannon has a good time drawing this character. Okay, so let's move this down and get this round head. Looks like we're gonna need a lot for his for his rather large head. And we're gonna put that up here. How's that look? <laughs> With the... And actually, why don't we connect this to the body? There we go. Got a little bit of skin color on there. Connect the body to the legs. Great, actually, that's not too bad for Play-Doh, right? I mean, can I, could I have done better? I don't know. It's not bad, I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, so here we've got the head. I've got a round shape, not very difficult to make. And I think, um, how are we gonna make the eyes and stuff? Should we use, should we use uh, purple maybe? The same color as the pants? Yeah, why don't we do that? I got some more purple here. So I'm gonna just make some little eyeballs and stuff here. And I'm just going to put that right here. There's one. Squish it on there. And here's another one. A little bit bigger. That's okay. It's not a perfect um, illustration. And then I need a mouth. He's got kind of his mouth open. He's like, uh-oh, did I do that? There we go. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't look like the picture. It's kind of a... a, a a ghost version of David or something, you know? And I'm gonna put a nose here too. Maybe I'm gonna move the mouth down a little bit. And again, this is the problem I was telling you about where the Play-Doh sticks together. I got it off, okay. So I don't wanna stick it too much because I don't wanna mix up the colors. But um, I'm gonna make his nose a little smaller. This is taking some crafting. <laughs> there we go, that's not too bad. I mean, you know, it's, it's not perfect, obviously, but it works. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, and now um, we're gonna do more skin color. So we need more of this orange here for the arms, okay? And you know what? I don't think that I'm gonna do the mud because I don't think I have a color. I would really need a brown color, like the color of dirt to um, do the mud. And I just don't have that in, in the Play-Doh set here. So I think I'm not gonna do the mud, I'm just gonna do this um, this uh, body shape, this body of his, rather than do the mud. And you know what, I'm gonna use a little bit more so that I can do his hands. So I'm kind of being creative now because, um, yeah, you can't really see in the picture his hands are covered with mud. But again, this is just creative, so. Okay, what do you think? Um, does David have any hair? He does a little bit, but he's mostly bald, isn't he? So I think I'm not gonna worry about the hair too much. Um, but here is David. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it a lot. And here's the comparison. What do you think? Is it a is it a a likeness? Does it look like him? It does a little bit. It's not too bad, especially with Plato. So yeah, give it a try. Get out your favorite book or, you know, if you have no David, that's a great way to go. You can, um, you know, try to model the character, your favorite character. I really enjoyed that.
And then I could, I could, uh, let's see, let's, you know what? Why don't we give him this? I didn't use these tools, but <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it looks like, um, here, here, here. Where's that scene? Remember that? Um, have you read this book? No, David. Have you seen that scene where he's playing baseball? Let me go to there and I'll show you. It's the scene here. He's playing baseball. Look. So here he's got a bat. And, and then let's um, let's give him this. This is from the tool here. That'll be the ball. Look, that's so great. So he's holding a baseball bat and a ball. I'm impressed. That's cute. If I wanted to also, I could use these tools and I could give a little more texture, like around the shoes like that. Um, maybe I could do a little hair on the top like that. Yeah, that works. Maybe a little bit of distinction between the hands and the arms. And maybe I could flatten it out a little bit like that. So yeah, you can do a little bit of artistic work afterwards, you know. Yeah, I love it. Uh, you know what, one thing I forgot now that I look at it is ears. So let me just do ears and then I'll be done. Okay, so here's a little piece here. And then here is a little piece here. And those are his ears. And that is the final version of David. So yeah, give it a try. Here he is with his baseball bat and his ball. So even if you, I just used one, two, three, four, four colors, that's it, to make this David, and it's not bad at all. So yeah, give it a try, and thanks for watching, and uh, hit a home run. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye.